and observe the tofu and the sriracha and breathe. It is yummy. You love it. You want to eat it. It is nutritionally dense. If you believe it. All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to Melissa Alexandria with her video "What I Eat in a Day: Plant-Based and Seven Months Pregnant." Plant-based and pregnant. Please inform the authorities. Let's have a look. Melissa, you should never see those two words combined. Criminal. Honestly. Good morning. I'm Melissa morning. and welcome back to my channel. Hello. I've got a healthy what I eat in a day video for you today. I have not No, you don't. You don't have a healthy what I eat video for us today because you are pregnant. You should feed yourself with nourishing animal foods. Veganism does not equate to healthy. It's a contradiction. These in so, so long. I've taken a long break from making YouTube videos. You should. But I'm very happy to You're be pregnant. back. And I'm going to show you how I eat this way while very pregnant. Why? <laughs> and it's a little bit different. I try to get more protein in and I have to eat more frequently rather than having the low calorie density.com. Can you see that guys? Let me just move myself out of the way here. Low calorie density.com. How will you achieve low caloric density with plant foods? It doesn't add up at all. All plant foods come with a bunch of carbohydrates, which equates to higher caloric amounts. On top of that, most mainstream vegans will agree with me in saying that you need to eat more plants in order to get your calories. You need to eat the rainbow. So don't you see the contradiction here? If you would eat organs, you would get the most bang for your buck, so to speak. Minimal calories, maximum nutrient density. Large portions that I used to have and enjoy. And that's just something that I had to kind of tweak and get used to because when you're pregnant, your organs are all squished and you can't really fit as much food in your stomach as you might want to at once. So you gotta kind of pace it out a little bit. Yeah, you kind of have you use your brain for a little bit and realize that you're not a herbivore. Your anatomy, your biology determines that and now you suffer the consequence. It is so simple for you to see. There is not much space. So what do you need? Real nutrition concentrated. All right, so first thing Not I, a morning, banana. I usually have a banana just to put something in my stomach. Yeah, just to put something in, but I don't have enough space in my stomach. Before I walk Beckham and then I'll come back and make some breakfast. Wow, but it's man. just nice to have something quick and easy to eat first thing because I'm hungry right away when I wake up. Yeah, you are hungry because your body craves nutrition. Now you're just consuming what? sugar and vitamin C. That is not nutrition. That will give you a little bit of energy, but no micronutrients. All right, I'm going to make... Respect. This was the first time that a vegan doesn't add cheesy music. Make a I'm cherry, impressed. chickpea, kale, chia smoothie. Fantastic. And I'm also just going to add... So this must be the most disgusting smoothie I've ever seen in my life. Honestly, who blends chickpeas to drink them? But anyways, let's get through it. You have the kale, which is super toxic, a bunch of oxalates in there. Then you have the ALA-containing seeds, which won't provide sufficient omega-3s for your pregnancy, for brain development for your child and then you have the lectin containing chickpeas to round it all up you add a little bit of sugary fruit that's it in a banana normally i would use a frozen banana in more sugar smoothies, but i haven't yeah. put any of them in the freezer so this wow. one will have to do and then i'm also going to add some ground cinnamon okay and a splash Why? of unsweetened vanilla cashew milk 
They're the disgusting. Cheese and the chia seeds are. Ninety-nine percent of those cashew milks are fortified with chemical vitamins. Fun fact: most pregnant ladies experience nausea, pregnancy sickness when they consume pregnancy vitamins. Go figure. My woman, on the other hand, didn't touch any chemicals during her pregnancy, consumed only nutritionally dense animal foods, and never felt sick. Not one single time. Just for some added protein. And to help make In God's name, what are you doing, woman? How will you extract any meaningful protein out of those chia seeds? Let's assume you're gonna absorb all the protein in those chia seeds. That's maybe five grams of chia seeds. How much protein is that? Exactly. That would equate to 0.5 grams of protein. Yes. More filling. Wow. And the frozen cherries are just for sweetness. Yeah. Lots that's true. Of cinnamon. Where's the husband? And a splash of cashew milk. Wow, man, this is so sad, dude. Then I'm just gonna add my water in and blend this all up. Uh, disgusting. And you're gonna wake up out of this delusion at some point, but it's gonna be too late. This is gonna make close to two 16 ounce glasses. So I just kind of sip this throughout the morning. Who cares? Lowcalorydensity.com Should be called low nutritional density. The nice thing about having kale or spinach or any dark leafy green in the morning the nice is thing. that no matter what else you eat that day, you know that at least you've had some dark leafy greens. So yeah, thank God day, for that. How am I even alive? I haven't touched leafy greens in three years straight. Man, just look into what your ancestors ate. They had no access to dark leafy greens. That wasn't part of their nutrition. I'm from the Balkans. My grandparents never heard of kale or broccoli. They lived off raw milk and meat and they were healthy. Wow. Kind of forget to have some. Yeah. But at least you've had some early on. You gotta have it. And as have far the kale. as the chickpeas go, I only put a third of a cup in because I find if you put any more than that, then you can taste them and they don't really add much of a nice flavor to it. Oh, really? So you're telling us you actually don't like the taste of chickpeas? Why? That is exactly the point that you vegans do not understand. Your food tastes disgusting to you because it is not food. Think about a cow. I brought this example a billion times here on the channel. A cow is grazing and the grass tastes phenomenal to the cow. Yes, believe it or not. Otherwise, the cow wouldn't eat the grass. It wouldn't graze. The grass is the species-specific diet of the cow. Therefore, it tastes fantastic. Guess what? You've been duped brainwashed into believing that healthy foods must taste disgusting. Wheatgrass, broccoli, vegetables, yeah, they taste disgusting, but they're oh so healthy. No, they're not. They're not healthy. They taste disgusting. This is why children don't like vegetables. On the other hand, food that is your species-specific diet will taste fantastic. Try sashimi, try steak tartare, try steak in general. It always tastes amazing. So I like why? have them Why? go Why? undetected. All right, for lunch, I've got something super easy. <sighs> super it's easy. basically three ingredients plus some seasoning. So I've got some leftover wild rice that I made yesterday in okay. my Instant Pot. I was a really picky eater when I was a kid, and rice was one of the only foods that I really enjoyed eating. Yeah. And I remember what the first time I had wild enjoy? rice with soy sauce. Mm, I just loved it, and I still do. Cool. And... We've got some tofu. I've already got the package open here, but it is organic, super firm tofu. Man, you're pregnant and this is the last thing on earth you want to eat. Matter of fact, this is the last thing on earth anybody wants to eat. Because it is not food and you know it. The tofu leads to hormonal disruptions. The white rice is just a bunch of grains. There you have a zucchini. Where is the nutrition? You talk about low caloric density. Yes, this is little calories. This is little nutrition. There are no micronutrients in your food. How will you feed a baby? Listen, there is a good reason why ancient people have been fattening up prior to pregnancy, have been eating the nutritionally dense, most prized foods on the planet, which are organs of course. Look into rural people and see how they eat. And look at what kind of healthy children they produce. It is due to the nutritional content that is found in animal foods, not this gunk. And I'm going to be Come using on, a Why? third of the pack, so about half of what's left here. 
And then I'm going to what world slice is this? up this entire zucchini. Amazing. And I'm going to steam you need the zucchini the zucchini. first with a splash of water on the stove top for a few minutes. Warm up the rice in the microwave. Yeah, fantastic. And then microwave add the tofu to good. the zucchini in the frying pan for a couple of minutes just to warm it up. And for seasoning, I'm going to be using garlic powder, a little bit of sriracha. Yeah, garlic powder kills off microbes. Why would you introduce that during pregnancy is a mystery to me. Lots of lime juice and some soy sauce. <laughs> if you've been watching my What I Eat in a Day videos for a while, you'll probably recognize this. Honestly, same. this is one of the worst What I Eat in a Day videos I've ever seen, let alone taking into account that she is pregnant. Wow. Flavors that I use over and over again. And that's just because I'm a creature of habit. I, in, I know what I enjoy and it just makes meal time. Make it a habit today to eat animal foods, please. I'm really easy. And I just know which spices and seasonings to combine in order to get a flavor that I really enjoy. I've got the zucchini. Veganism is only about flavor, of course. They're tricking themselves into believing that what they're eating is actually nutritious. Of course, it is not. Most of the time, it is heavily masked with spices, sauces, and of course, salt. The salt replicates the mineral density that you usually find in animal foods. Sliced up very thinly, and I'm just sauteing them in the frying pan with about an ounce or two of water. I'm yeah, going to put why? the lid on for about four minutes or so. Ugh. And then I'm going to add the tofu in as well. Don't and that's when I'll more. put in my Honestly. spices. Some meditation music. Yahoo. Let's turn off our brain and observe the tofu and the sriracha and breathe. It is yummy, you love it, you want to eat it, it is nutritionally dense, if you believe it. <sighs> Inhale the phytoestrogen. And just for estrogen. reference, this is about two cups of cooked wild rice. Wild this rice really expands once you cook it. And while tofu isn't necessarily high in calories per pound, oh, it really? is higher in fat. So if you want to keep this mm. lower in fat, but still have the protein. No, it is not higher in fat. It is higher in plant oils. Plant oils are very toxic in high concentrations. And this is exactly what you're getting into your body. Real fat is saturated animal fats because it comes with all the fat soluble vitamins, which are so healthy for you and your growing child. Swap out the tofu for yes. some black beans or some kidney beans or lentils or chickpeas. Yeah, or anything lectin containing. <laughs> Man, this is so terrible. I really want her to be healthy. I want the child to be healthy. Oh, but they right. won't listen. As a snack, something that I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of You're constantly hungry. You're constantly starving. Obviously, now you're eating for two on top of that. But you deny yourself and your growing child the nutrition. Now you consume sugar again. These sliced carbs, frozen carbs, peaches. Carbs. And I just saute it with a splash of water on medium on the stovetop. Why don't you eat an egg? And then after... Crazy idea. I just put a little bit of cinnamon sprinkled on top. And that's it. It honestly tastes like pie filling. It's really sweet and delicious and still super healthy. Yeah, you have an eating disorder as well on top of that. It seems you want to maintain a slim physique. This is why you do this probably. It kind of reminds me of the what I eat in a day of Dr. Dre. Ultimately, you should seek help. You seem very mentally ill. You're destroying yourself and your baby. Yet again. What is this man? But vegans don't really understand an ounce what of water nutrients in here, actually and are. Just let these saute. They even make memes out of that. Nutrients, though. <laughs> As if we need them. <laughs> A on medium heat for about four or five minutes. Cool, ma'am. Until they're nice and soft. I'm just okay. sprinkling some cinnamon on top. Okay, but now think about this. Ah, this fruit had some vitamin C. Now that you cooked it, it probably doesn't have any vitamin C left. So now it is just sugar, caramelized sugar in some instances. So where's the vitamin A? Where's the vitamin D3? Where's the protein? Where's the cholesterol? Where's the creatine? Where's the carnosine? Not in those plants. Lots of cinnamon because I love it. Love it. And voila. Love it. 
All right, I am going to make a I'm going to puke, for honestly. dinner using. I'm not pregnant. I don't have any morning sickness, but I'm going to puke. My instant pot. I will. And I this literally is just, just watching up it. my pantry, my fridge and freezer, and my spice cabinet, and just saw what I had available and what I. No human being can survive off this. It seems that you really don't know it, but think about it. Here you have some corn, you have some peas, you have some cabbage, some carrots, and some beans. No fat soluble vitamin was seen on that given day. How will you survive long term? Thought would kind Honestly. of go well together. But they don't know. I rarely they follow don't recipes see. when I make soups. Wow. I kind of just DIY it and it usually turns out great. So I've got. It has been already three years plus that I'm ex vegan now, and it is very hard for me to remember how brainwashed I was. I try to put myself into their shoes, and then I do remember that you really do not know. You don't know anything. You have no idea about nutrition. You just listen to certain things online, probably. And that's it. You cannot help yourself. You will destroy yourself. And that is fine. Go right ahead. The only issue that I have here is your child. Wake up for its sake. One yellow onion. I always add onions to my soups. I just love the flavor. Yeah, you love the flavor. As I said a billion times here on the channel, garlic, onions, antiseptic, destroy microbes within your body. Not a good idea, especially not if you're pregnant. And then I've got these wow, little man. potatoes to use up. So I've got 10 of them here. I'm just gonna give them a good wash and chop these up into little cubes. I've got a zucchini. Where's the husband? Where is he? Tiny carrots. I'm going to probably use about half of this cabbage. For what? And then instead of um, veggie stock or soup broth, which I very rarely use, okay. I'm going to use about a tablespoon of this red miso paste. I remember this face, man. I was in a very, very similar spot when I was following a whole food plant-based diet based on the daily dozens, based on Dr. Joel Foreman, the Nutritarian diet. <laughs> he called that gunk. Anyways, you're very, very brainwashed into believing that you will single-handedly pick only the healthy foods and then by default you're gonna be healthy. The opposite is the truth. You will see that junk food vegans actually survive longer. <laughs> they do better than whole food plant-based vegans because they have higher calories and with that they can maintain their own fat reserves which are still saturated with vitamins that they ate in the past. This is no joke. Junk food vegans really do longer than whole food plant-based vegans. If you're following That's crazy, a man. completely sodium-free or added salt-free diet, yeah. then skip this part. But uh, I'm going to add some of this thick miso paste. Thick. Which gives the soup a really, really nice flavor. You want meat so bad, And then of course so you don't bad, have man. to add any salt in wow. afterward. And for my spices, I've got onion powder. She loves onion. Can you tell I like onion? Yeah. <laughs> so onion powder, ground cumin, <sighs> garlic powder, wow. and some smoked paprika. All of those seasonings and spices are very toxic, of course. Now, in small amounts, you won't see that. You won't recognize that because you're not going to get poisoned right away. But if you would try to eat the whole bag of chili, you would see what happens. Of course, the dose makes the poison. But my point here is that those things are not foods. If you eat a steak, you feel happy. If you eat two steaks, you feel happy. You could eat 10 steaks if you're hungry. You wouldn't have a side effect. Real food never leads to a side effect. And Keep that in mind. I'm going to add about a cup of frozen corn. <sighs> some sweet peas. Always the pig food. Oh, and you know what I Why? forgot that I'm going to add? Mm. Curry powder. Oh, if wow. anyone Amazing. watching is just switching over to a whole food plant-based diet or considering it, one of my Why biggest tips is to really embrace seasonings. Seasonings <laughs> make all the difference. The last thing you want is Oh man, that is so adorable, I guess. She's giving you tips how to make those plants edible and enjoyable because they all taste like crap. She still doesn't understand that it's not her species specific diet. To have, you know, these beautiful healthy meals but not really enjoy the flavors. <laughs> and so if you if you need to But how is it healthy then? Why are you so gullible? Why don't you understand this, man? It boggles my mind. The reason why you don't enjoy it is because it is not your species-specific diet. I have to repeat myself in the hope we're gonna save a child today. Try raw salmon. Sashimi. Try it now. You're gonna love it. 
And don't give me the myth you shouldn't eat raw foods during pregnancy. Season the food up Ridiculous. to make yourself enjoy it more. I recommend going to the grocery store and just having a really good look at the just spice section. Having a and ball. Trying new things. Yeah. Smoked paprika is really, really delicious. Yeah, but because it reminds you of meat. Something that I probably wouldn't have thought about a couple of years ago, yeah. but now I include it in tons of my dishes and I really enjoy it. You sure because do. if you don't enjoy the flavors of the food, it's so much less likely that you're going to stick with eating this way. But why would you stick eating this way? If you can What's find the point? Your favorite seasonings and what is it that make you genuinely love this food? I then love it. It doesn't genuinely. feel like you're on a you don't genuinely love this food. Otherwise, you could eat it in its raw state, and you would genuinely enjoy the food. That one plus one equals thirty-five. Genuinely love this food, then it doesn't feel like you're on a diet at all. It just feels like you're eating healthy, delicious food that you love. Yeah, but it is a diet, of course. <laughs> it is already called a whole food plant-based diet. It is not your species-specific diet. This is something that would come natural to you. My grandparents weren't on a diet. Your grandparents weren't on a diet. You are on a diet. Wow, mind-boggling. Hard to believe. Some more meditation music, please. To calm down. <laughs> Chopping onions. Choppity chop. Uh, enlightenment through chickpeas. Just so relaxing. I should check her comments. Probably many people just come to those videos to relax, to enjoy. Uh, onion powder. <laughs> the holy onion powder. <laughs> Yes, chuck it in, All right, because it's so delicious. Five cups of water in there. Now I'm just adding in the cabbage. Disgusting, man. And I only did seven, not ten, of those little potatoes, mm. just because I was worried about overfilling this Instant Pot. Mm -hmm. Cabbage and zucchini are so full of water as well. Yeah. So you'll see that once this is cooked, there's a lot more water in the pot oh, afterwards. Man, yes, but where's the nutrition woman? Tell us, please. And I'm going to cook this on high for 25 minutes. Okay, do that. It smells really good. No, it doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to serve up one small bowl now. <sighs> Why don't you put a whole chicken in there to get some collagen, to get some protein, to get some fat? Wait a little bit for your digest. child. I can't and anymore, probably honestly. have another bowl in about what an hour I say? or so. There's no help for those people. Really. No matter what I say, they're not gonna listen. It's bully, Bobby. He's so mean. I'm gonna add some chili Why are you so angry, Bobby? People really don't get it. All I want here is to help you. I was a vegan for four years straight. They're not gonna listen. More chili, yay. Excitotoxins. Here we go. Very is what easy it is. and filling dinner. Filling, yes, but not nourishing. Know the difference. All right, now I'm just having a cup of sugar cookie sleigh ride tea. It's a really yummy, sweet holiday flavor. Yeah, everything's tea. yummy, everything's delicious. You're only eating sugar yet again. Do you understand this? You're constantly craving, you're on an insulin roller coaster. You have to satisfy your sweet too because you're starving. And I'm gonna have some frozen fruit that I took out of the freezer. On top of that, she eats a lot of frozen stuff, which indicates that she is anemic. If you're anemic, you get the urge to crush ice and to eat frozen stuff. That is an iron deficiency, especially now when you're pregnant. Yes, you probably are iron deficient. That could impair the growth of the child. But who cares? Let's be vegan, guys. Half an hour ago to just let it <laughs> thaw out. Oh, food plant based. Some frozen blueberries, frozen, frozen dark frozen, sweet yes, cherries, more frozen. and frozen mango chunks. Free for frozen. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hey, I will thank see you. you in my next video. It was video. absolutely beautiful. Bye. -bye. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Absolutely unbelievable. I don't know what to say anymore, honestly. On the one hand, I'm kind of exhausted talking about the same thing over and over again. But at the same time, I do still see people, thank God, waking up from the vegan spell. Let's pray for her. Let's hope that she wakes up too. All right, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.